Hello, this is Billy Corr from the Nostalgia Mall, and we are back once again with the PowerBook G3 that I got at Goodwill last summer. And I just want to do a, a little video showing um, how to factory restore a PowerBook G3 Pismo, which this is. I found these CD images on WinWorld, and um, I've used these before, but... Um, didn't get it on camera. It really, as you'll see, doesn't really make uh, much of a difference from a plain uh, um, OS 9 install, but it's still kind of, it, there are a few little um, differences, mainly in the installation procedures, that I think you guys may enjoy seeing. And so, um, it comes on two CDs. Yeah, these look very legit, don't they? <laughs> and I think we only just need the first CD. And these are actually burnt to DVDs because the optical drive in this computer has some kind of weird issue where it doesn't want to read from anything CD-based. It can do DVDs just fine, but anything CD-based, uh, that mechanism um, does not function anymore for some reason. So, we'll uh, go ahead and power it on. And I just remembered um, it's hard to uh, get the button, to a, the eject button, to do anything. So we will uh, do that. And of course it's already going to uh, boot into the existing OS 9 install I have on this laptop. Because I wasn't quick enough to get the disk in. Okay, let's go ahead and restart. And it and it did show up in the finder a minute ago, so um, it is reading it. So let's hold down the C key. I believe that's how you get it to boot from the CD. Remember, I'm not an expert when it comes to um, Macs of really any era, <laughs> old and modern. It's uh, reading the disk, I think. Uh, please don't make that wind down noise. <laughs> okay. okay. We've got a Happy Mac. I don't know if it's booting from the disc or not. Or the CD, I mean. Go ahead and let go of that C <laughs> key. Okay, looks like it is um, booting from the CD, um, hence the uh, CD wallpaper. And here we go. Um, PowerBook install CD. And so, the first thing we'll do is, uh, I guess, wipe the hard drive, or CF card in this case. Go to Drive Setup. Macintosh HD, and uh, just initialize it. That should uh, erase it. Initialization was successful. Wonderful. And so I believe we can uh, double click install Macintosh software, I think. And it's been a long time since I've done this. I've only done it once. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's it. That's just going to do a plain generic install. We want a uh, factory reinstall okay that's not it
Okay, so I uh, made a small error. The um, disk I booted from was just a plain uh, OS 9 install disk that came with this computer originally. Disk 2 was the uh, disk with the factory image restore uh, thingamabob on here. So I went off camera and booted from this, and so what we need to do is just, uh, well first I want to label the hard drive. Mac Intosh CF, calls it a CF card. <laughs> so what we need to do is double click Apple Software Restore. And this should uh, be what will get our uh, factory image on here. Completely erases the contents of your hard disk, which we already did. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that and tell it to restore. This operation will erase the volume Macintosh CF and put uh, PowerBook HD.IMG onto it. Proceed? Yes. Not that there was anything on there anymore. So basically what this is doing is just it has a an actual hard drive image on this CD or DVD in this case and it's just copying it over to the hard drive or CF card in this case. So it's just a uh, it's just re-imaging everything. It's simple as that. So I don't know how long this is going to take. Again, I've only done this once before. So I will um, let it sit there and rot, <laughs> I guess you could say. And uh, I will resume the video on the other side. Okay, that actually only took like two minutes. Um, I was really surprised by that, but it says the volume Macintosh HD was successfully restored. And so we can go ahead and restart. Sorry for the little uh, lens glitch there. <laughs> Alright, first boot up. And this is uh, plain vanilla OS 9. It's not 9.1, 9.2 or anything like this. This is the original release of OS 9. Loading all the extensions there. What's this? It's a windy day. We'll have you up and running in no time. Let's set up your PowerBook. To get started, just click the Continue button. So this is um, what would happen when you would uh, first boot up your PowerBook after taking it out of the box years ago. And it shows you how to use the trackpad. Okay, and I'm in the United States. Okay, a new Apple product is a valuable investment. You can protect your investment by registering your computer now. Okay, um... Is there a way we can not do that? Nope. We have to uh, sign our life over to uh, Steve Jobs, apparently. <laughs> so let me put in some of this information. Okay, where will you primarily use this computer? Uh, big business. <laughs> that amuses me for some reason. What best describes what you do? Uh, 
Do you guys really want to know that? <laughs> I do, uh, oops, I make YouTube videos, so I guess I'm technically a web designer slash webmaster. You, you don't hear that word much anymore these days, webmaster. I would like Apple to send me offers. No. I would like companies with related products to send me information. No. Your registration will your, will be automatically sent to Apple. Do you want to go on the internet? No, not right now. Are you sure? I said no. Okay, and we will send the registration in later. Um, translation, never. Thank you. We will send your registration to Apple when you get on the internet. Whatever. That was an interesting little uh, welcome intro video. I have to say. <laughs> Alright, here we are. There's the CD contents. And we'll go ahead and eject the CD. So that wasn't too complicated at all. We, we have now successfully restored this power book to um, factory settings. And um, other than the uh, power book G3-esque uh, background, there's really nothing too different from a uh, bog standard OS 9 install. And, uh, does the battery still work on here? Yes, it does. <laughs> I better plug it up. The battery was almost dead anyway, so. So, yeah, that's an interesting little look at how to, um, how you would restore your PowerBook G3 to factory settings and how your PowerBook G3, um, what it would have done when you first took it out of the box, um, 20-some years ago. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The link to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.